Are you on? God, you gotta tell me about that. All right. Blitz creaking. <clears throat> so, I don't know. We've been talking about a bunch of stuff today. Don't pounce on me, rooster. There's a the wind's blowing. It's not a good day for doing other stuff. And it's Sunday. Um, so I've been trying to answer some questions, but I wanted to talk about the stuff I want to talk about. And I got Rooster here again, and he's kind of he's kind of upset because he's in the hay barn, and I got him hobbled. But I want to talk about Hackmore fit, and just a couple little Hackmore tricks. So stay there. This Hackmore, you can see how I've got it rigged up, and that's mule tape, and that's an old piece of latigo. That was no longer good for being a latigo. Hi. And that's not necessarily because I'm a hillbilly. I've got it with this, this mule tape because that mule tape's really, really strong. And I ride this hack more on a lot of young horses. And I cheek my horses when I get on them. And I've had these break if it's just a piece of saddle string. And that's kind of not a fun wreck. So. With these ones I ride a lot of young horses in, I've got mule tape or rawhide or something on there that's not going to break. And then the brow band being made out of latigo, I like a brow band on my hackmore, I like the way it makes them hang. And a latigo for one is just about the right width. And then for two, it kind of holds with my scotch nature, I can reuse something. But you can see how I've got it. The hanger run this way. And then I've got the throat latch run about an inch behind there. That's just kind of through trial and error. I've found that's where it hangs just the way I want it to. So when we're riding a horse in a hackamore, the rule of thumb is you want it halfway between their eye and that where it starts getting soft on their muzzle. So whether that's a hand or however however that length is, right there's where it's starting getting soft on his muzzle. And so I got this just a hair high actually. And then halfway between his eye. That's where I like one to fit. And when I shape these hackmores, I like them to fit just like a hat, meaning I want it to have contact all the way around I want it to be touching. I don't want it real wide like this to where it rattles around. I don't want it just touching on the bridge of their nose. I want it to, to be wrapped all the way around their face and having contact all the way around. Some people, you'll see some people that don't use a hackamore very much, ride them real low. And as the horse progresses, you can you can let them down a little lower right there's about the lowest i'd get one but you see some of them some guys ride them clear down here well that's not really doing you much good it's down here on that soft part of their nose and you can really it hurts when you get to pulling on that it hurts so i like it up quite a bit higher about there about halfway. Mm -hmm.